What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Third of War Let's Play as Grand Columbia. And we have, I believe for the most part, finished this end turn. We've done a lot of our uh, recruiting. The Marathas are on their way with waves and waves of troops. So all we can really do is make sure that we keep... Um, so here at Tricomboli, we can we keep recruiting troops to try and find areas such as Goa or areas like a Madnagar where we can land troops and invade and apart from that we've got to make sure we are building our new invasion forces ready for future operations and conquer the world because we are pretty far along now in this campaign and I think we need to just keep our yeah, Boston's 100% Protestant. I think it's, it's possible that my religious agent up here might actually not get over to the get over to um, Europe yet. Um, they may still have to rely on dragoon garrisons. So if I do agents, yeah, I've only just got the one religious agent which is unfortunate really unfortunate um we will have we will get some i mean yeah yeah so because i destroyed the, the catholic church building in paris but as we advance into um into europe there should be some extra yes there's a seminary there it's part of vienna so that'll get us another religious agent it's got to be some more hiding elsewhere but actually there might not be um quite promising lots of austrian lots of the austrian interiors actually um being raided by somebody maybe there's lots of rebellions i don't know um but yeah we need to bear that in mind and let's start bernardo bernardo redondo Let's get you started on another army. Don't want any horse artillery. 12 pounders are fine. Um, yeah, we're going to be... This is not going to be a super exciting unit. <clears throat> a super exciting army, that is. We'll get the army staff college. That'll open up a few extra options, potentially. Other than that, research, research is going okay. You're progressing okay. Our fleets are <laughs> just really strong, so we can take an extra. Okay, let's take the third rate from here. And take the first rate of the line out to here. I mean, yeah, I think it's pretty... We can be pretty confident that we don't need any more fleets. <laughs> because, well, yeah, we've got a lot, awful lot of ships already. Let's promote Via to be an admiral. Animesh Inda. I suppose it's former Indian stock. So let's get three heavy first rates. Get some seconds and thirds. That's enough of that. We've got some trade fleets here being built still. Okay, let's split these guys up. I mean, for the most part, that'll be all the trade fleets we need. Where the hell? Actually, is there a limit to how many steamships I can build? It might be, because it's disappeared. Okay, let's hold on to that for a minute, then. Get a selection of privateers. Let's get some more privateers. Cool. We still have to take Martinique. You're also growing your fleet. I mean, you can take Martinique and sail on to attack elsewhere. Um, I think the American... <laughs> I think I... Well, really, I can't afford to 
stop recruiting anywhere. No, don't want, no, don't want mortars. Do not want mortars. No, sir. And let's recruit. Hey, standard unit of line. And here in Madrid, you also... Well, actually, you can... Let's collaborate. Let's just get unit of line infantry guards and engineer fusilier. That's a good selection of infantry. Don't want puckle guns. They are awful. Something like that. So you men are advancing up to Tunis. Our strength is growing here. I mean, once we've got hold of Naples, or once we've secured Naples, we can start to push on Rome. But until we get that, let's just start stacking up infantry here in Naples. They'll eventually go down and attack that raiding force. Is there a religious building here in Rome? No, just the university and coaching in. Unfortunate. Make sure you guys are all replenishing. Yeah, that's all okay. Matthias Garocho. I mean, you might go for Strasbourg. Because that's a weak point in their line, potentially. Lots of scattered units. Yeah, you're not in you're not in range to support. You can move up to support, even though you're depleted. Yeah, Paris is max recruiting as well. Uh, what we could do with is yeah, somewhere like Tangier. Although you're building a new. Recruiting your general's bodyguard. Actually, you, yeah, you might just... Hmm. Do you attack or do we push them out? Or do we, do we let them push us? I mean, it's not a particularly... Ah, let's just go get them. Let's just blow a hole in their southern front. Take Strasbourg and use it as a base of operations to grow our forces and then hopefully push east because this has got a military governor's barracks we can recruit a reasonable garrison here quite quickly and then we can start well then that means this army can push out quicker than planned um, I might want to keep my cavalry hmm. how do I want to do this do we let them get into the fort, or do we try and intercept them before they get into the fort? I don't think we, want, well, we don't necessarily want to intercept them. I think we want to try and get in quickly because our uh, that means they'll be coming in. As the reinforcements come in, they'll be forced to try and assault the city rather than rather than running straight in, if that makes sense. Okay, let's deploy our howitzers. Run straight in. Our cavalry going to be our protection. Uh, Hillary. Just try to make a way in. Howitzers also try and, some of our howitzers also try and make a way in. Yes, heavy horse guard artillery on the flank.
Okay, so let's make these marines go secure that gate. Fusiliers can actually try and hold off on the right flank. Salt the line. Salt the city. Risky. With the fusiliers. Mercenaries push up. The line push up. We're almost ready just to run straight in. Come on, give us a volley. Good, the wall's breached. In. Come on, give me your option to run. There we go. You men can try and hold the left. You you had the opportunity just to run straight in, but now you've they they just sat there. You're just not running. Counter batteries knocking out their artillery quite nicely. Make sure the generals pushed up. I don't know why you keep stopping. Here the marines scale the walls. That's right, scale the wall. Garrison line, garrison line. Okay, let's make one unit try and secure the wall. Are the marines securing the wall? New man dropping square. Start engaging the Hussars. That's quite nice. Okay, cavalry advance. Skirmishers also advance. That cavalry is not a problem. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we're not getting the. We didn't get that. We didn't get the uh, charge off in the way that we'd like. These guys are going to climb up, secure the wall, and start securing the gates. I mean, that's not that's bang on, even though that's very dangerous. Okay, let's make sure that we are. Okay, let's try set up our skirmishers over here. We're going to start potentially fall back and box box around the breach. Heavy horse artillery. Engage that unit of heavy horse artillery if they're within range. Form up our infantry. We sacrifice one unit. Just see a guard are engaging the marines on the ground. We're shooting at them. As long as our marines. Don't worry about fighting, just keep going for the walls. Artillery, just get them to start attacking ground. So you are not pulling back in the way that you should if you will not pull back then you will die because that is too good of an opportunity 
Fire at will on. There we go. See? You elected to not fall back when I wanted you to. Now you will suffer the consequences. And the men in the breach will die by their thousands. Hey, Marines, go secure that gate, even though you are significantly more depleted than you should have been. Gracia, get in there and smash that unit of engineers, because they're going to jump on my light horse, who are going to run. General... Go after these men. Excellent. Brave unit of light infantry returned. That's right. Fry call light infantry. <laughs> Defend the breach. General's bodyguard good for the heavy horse artillery. Quick line will see these fellows out. More infantry coming in off the flank. Swiss guards, Swiss line guards. Okay, let's go in there and knock out that. That artillery unit. Everything else is largely behaving as planned, so let's make sure I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on getting this getting this right. Swiss guards are attempting to form up, but they're not going to save their artillery. Go oh, on, that's right. Slaughter their crews. We're in a good position to deal with their troops as they come up. Quick lines doing a hell of a number on the enemy as is tradition keep killing them um, just because that's a really nice unit to kill heavy horse artillery it's an expensive unit go on turn and fight there he is can you men quickly come up and kill this horse guard artillery before the remnants of these enemy troops come up to try and kill us. My general has fallen. That's fine. His death is a valuable, will be a valuable outcome for us all. How it's to start popping off shots against the Swiss Grenadiers. Okay, let's try to get my... Oh, okay, fall back, fall back. If they want to come out and play, they can come out and play. Okay, the light cavalry, run them back towards my line. General's bodyguard, run them back. I mean, we'll just keep... Keep doing this. If they want to come out and stop us... <laughs> you want to just, want, just want to stand in the breach... I'll let you do that. Bring you back. Get this cavalry in against the Swiss guards. My fusiliers are not going to last very well against them. Bring up a fresh general. Max 
excellent start. It's this unit of grenadiers that's standing against us. So they're getting picked off. The Swiss guards are very upset. Trouble is they're outside the walls, so they're much more susceptible to their morale collapsing. Foot guards are just running towards us from the re enemy reinforcements. Marines attack this last guerrilla mercenary. Okay, let's make sure we are providing reasonable support to our troops defending the flanks. Okay, let's pull back and hold again. A Swiss line infantry unit is actually reasonably good. It's full strength, which is more than can be said for most of my units. Foot guards are coming in column formation. From the perspective of avoiding quickline, this isn't a terrible idea. Sufficiently so, let's make sure we are focusing on the other unit. Because yeah, that would have definitely have killed a bunch of our own guys. Commit my hussars into the fight here as well. Get my hussars to chase down those enemy grenadiers. The enemy Swiss line was pushing for the pushing for the center. My cavalry chased down their infantry. My my howitzers focus on the Swiss guards, which means we can break these units up and send some more troops in. Make sure the generals following them in. Okay, make sure my skirmishers and irregulars okay excellent fusiliers secure the gate give us another way in keep killing the grenadiers you keep killing the guards how it says uh -huh. Halt, this is incredibly messy. Push these units up to try and chase away these chaps. Okay, my skirmish is in here. All of them fire at will, especially into the backs of this engagement, into this, um, the backs of this fight over here. Okay, we're engaging the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. This unit of line infantry is holding the line. Make sure you guys are all fire at will off. Send in the Grenadier Guards. My first battle of the day. Um, that's the excuse I'm giving as to why it's particularly bloody. Very well, let's face off against them. Bring up the General's Bodyguard. Well, those guards came back, but we should beat them. Next, then we've got another another um, open gate. Okay. 
the Grenadiers. Get in. The enemies still have one usable um, entrance. Let's try get my... Oh, the line infantry guards are fighting us. Get my cuirassier around the back. Fusiliers, take that gate. Get my okay, start the countdown. Get my infantry take position on the center. Let my fusiliers get involved. Ideally, I want my general's bodyguard sat on the middle. And to be honest, just use my skirmishes, they're not doing anything super useful. Okay, this cavalry unit chase down some of those foot guard units. Okay, there we go. Marines commit. You men commit. Surround and destroy these guys. Hey, this is a lot bloodier than it needed to be. Ah well. Okay, the militia are wavering. The Swiss line are un experiencing challenging feelings. The infantry guards may get in through the gate, but if our marine gets in, they may close it before they completely get in. There we go. <laughs> okay, General's Bodyguard. Okay, you men form up your line. General's Bodyguard, chase down the line infantry guards. We got them surrounded in the breach. 12 seconds, and that'll be on the Yoshi Road. See if we can knock out this foot guard unit in time. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, a lot of bloody than it needed to be by a long shot, but I'll take it. Really close victory. It was a bit dodgy. Should have taken longer. Yeah, we lost our general because of it. Still, the main the deciding factor about whether that's a problem or not. Oh, come on, let's get in. Yeah, they didn't really have a they didn't really have a concise, strong force to actually um, push us out anyway. Probably better off swapping these guys <laughs> because this force is ever so slightly stronger. Nice. Now, what are you going to do, Austria? I'd like this British army, when it's done, to land and take Konigsberg. Let's start pecking at some of these areas along the coast, including Berlin. We could take Berlin. I mean, we do need to consolidate our hold in, in Italy as well. Let's not upgrade anything yet here. Um, yeah, I think I want to hit and turn. And let's see what happens. Our troops are moving along, our fleets are moving along. I don't think you can take any of them. No, you can't. Recruitment must continue. We need to break through the Austrian front line and we also need to start invading or start knocking out some of the um, Maratha centres of power. That's why we're ma recruiting like madmen on the east coast but hopefully if they leave the if they leave more of their cities exposed we could yeah we can capture some of their coastal cities and start to cause a lot more problems for them 
Yeah, lots of your armies are quite fragmented, Austria. That's not what you want. But yeah, keep recruiting, keep up the pressure. Because Konigsberg's ripe for the taking, Berlin's ripe for the taking. And there's nothing they once we take them, I don't think they can really stop us, because lots of their armies Lots of their troops in the center just aren't really they're not concise forces, they're just disparate units spread out over an area, over an area and could be can be more easily defeated. Gdansk is viable, but because they've got troops in the port, it makes it a more difficult capture. It's a two-turn affair rather than a one-turn one affair, like Konigsberg would be. And Konigsberg is fortified, and that's really good. I think the force in Tunisia is going to be stood up to defend um, or to uh, to clear out the the, um, the Italian peninsula while the force in Naples is going to push against Rome. I think that's the objective there. I think what we should do really is come up with quite a strict um, demarcation line where troops, forces recruited in Europe will be for European operations forces recruited in India, in India and America will be recruited for Indian operations. You're tempted to move up, aren't you, Austria? You're tempted. You're very tempted. See, Amsterdam would be another good capture if we can get it. Lots of these territories would just dump, a, dump an army off of their coast and capture the city and just hold it. And then push forward with our front line. They're starting to panic a bit around Stuttgart. They've lost the they've lost a city just to the re just to the west. Now they're a bit concerned. Um, I'm going to auto this because we fought this before, and it's just a defensive army against not very many troops. We'll probably take these cities very quickly. I mean, I could have taken them earlier, but. You know, I kind of wanted to have a bit more of a concise, a bit, a bit more of a proper front line. Uh, yes. So once we secure Milan, ooh, do I want to intercept? Yes, I do. Balthazar von Baden-Baden. You've come within range. So we're going to hold them off, damage their troops. Yeah, yeah, I think this is the this is the stage of the campaign we're at now. There's not there's not much clever strategy. Just keep on smashing them, smash them everywhere we can. Uh, not a great defensive position. Although it's not not terrible. Okay, let's put a three unit front line position. Although I could probably make it a bit wider. So then I can place my artillery. Not a great position because a mound in the way, but it will do. Then on each flank I've got my two elite units plus skirmisher unit. I mean this unit gets blunder by shotgunners. Don't get Ooh. They can have the sharpshooters as well. And we've got some uh horse grenadier guards. Sharpshooters will hold back. Oh, it says deploy. Heavy horse guard artillery. I feel like it's going to go over here, but we're going to see what the enemy dispositions are like. Okay, let's put my 
sharpshooters over here, my lancer guards over here. My conventional force is going to pummel the bejesus out of the the enemy over here. Are you within quick climb range? Some provincial cav units are. Household cavalry are. It's going to knock a few holes in our lines, but that's not terrible. Sharpshooters, Hussars, Provincial Cavalry. Skirmishers and Line Infantry are going to knock out the Household Cavalry. Although they're coming at us en masse. Horse, horse grenade guards just keep firing at them. There we go. Ran these guys into my square. Oh, I've got blunderbuss shotguns. Are there any provincial cavalry? Morale is poor. So now my horse grenade guards have the numbers. Actually, they can try and shoot into the back of these household cavalrymen. Okay, where's my gunners? You've abandoned your guns. That's good. Room for the safety of the square. Light cavalry sharpshooters get up here. Lancer guards go for the enemy guns. We can pick off their cavalry quite safely here, actually. Okay, the enemy... Cavalry formation is defeated. Our light cavalry sharpshooters have dealt with their sharpshooters. Pursue them. Ooh, that's a rather fortuitous quick climb. I thought I retargeted these howitzers. Horse Grand Air Guards, you got this. Oh, they pushed them. Oh, I did. They just pushed their Mountain Jaeger up into the fight. Interesting. Okay, let's retarget the howitzers. Push my cavalry into their provincial cav. Okay, bring my Lancer Guards. Back to engage the cavalry sharpshooters from long distance, from long range. They may well be routed by our own sharpshooters. They're aware they're under fire, or they're going to be charged. Get these grenadier guards around on the around the flank. Grenadiers. You may have pointy sticks, but we're going to ram pointy sticks up your backside. Excellent. So you men go after the Wimbush Jaeger. You're already under fire from them with their air rifles.
No sharpshooters, ignore that. General's bodyguard is aware of the trouble. Pack them down. Lancer guards attack the enemy Jaeger. Let's try kill these Wimbush Jaeger because they're a special unit. Let's kill Mr. Von Baden Baden. All my artillery can shoot, switch to round shot, bombard. Actually, don't bombard anything. We got clipped. Yeah, my lance pursue the guards. Swiss pikemen have broken. Ooh, fire at will of my guardsmen. Upset a lot of people. Hey, okay, artillery ceasefire. Killed the enemy general. Let's deploy our cavalry to pursue and destroy. Excellent. You're chasing down militia, which isn't super important. You're going to try and get our last artilleryman. You guys both try to get the 8th Regiment of Foot. Excellent. We don't need to worry about the general's bodyguard. Let's kill the last of the Swiss pikes, and now we all help the general pathfind against his last handful of militia. Nice. Uh, yeah, a bit bloody again, but you know we can deal with that. Back you go. Um, yeah, we've already fought the Genoa garrison before. Um, do you want to intercept the this Maratha force? Uh, the answer is probably going to be yes, but I, I mean, it is going to be yes because they've got lots of cavalry. Uh, yeah, let's do it. So they've got they've got artillery. They are going to make a breach. They've got um, a lot of cavalry, which is good for us. And they've got a reasonable amount of melee infantry, which is also good for us. Especially when the fact they're going to try and make a breach as well. We can use it to... Uh, well, we'll just be able to shoot the bejesus out of them before they get anywhere near our walls that's pretty nice we may even want to make our own breach okay yeah let's make our own breach well although that does kind of depend on where they are going to make theirs. Okay, let's drop our men on the walls. Good, good, good. Okay, that leaves us with a decent number in reserve. Let's focus on wherever their cavalry want to go. The howitzers just form up and start shooting. To be fair, our foot artillery may be able to try and engage their artillery. Let's try that. So they're firing at will. I'm not targeting them. It 
looks like, well, that's going to be the breach by the gate. Enemy, one enemy artillery unit has has broken. Okay, let's run you men off the wall immediately. The howitzers will need to... I mean, I did deploy them really quite close. Coming back. Okay, let's pull you back to here. It's time to engage some of their units as they're coming in. Some of their dervish units are quite weak. Sixty-three. That's that unit is. They are going to go down. Get these men over here to protect the gates. And yeah, let's actually try and. really stack up our firepower around this kill box if we start shooting at something else no hey you men you man your walls and annihilate 124th dervishes one guy running around that's holding it all up Make ready. Fire! <laughs> okay, they've stopped attacking that section, so we need to make the breach ourselves. are unlimbering and to give them one really meaty quick climb attack order here to attack this concentration of troops yeah you know, the enemy artillery is actually bugged so oh quick climb they've got their cavalry within range of quick climb as well but first, these guys are in range. <laughs> okay, first of all... One unit's going to try and work on their artillery. I mean, if they're not going to... If they're not going to breach... Okay, no, don't don't attack ground then. Okay, right. Let's let you guys halt. Fire at will again. Here yeah, they go. Get the enemy artillery as well. Disarm peasantries. No, they were going to try and come in. They decided that was a bad idea. He goes a little bit further away from that section of the wall. So the issue is, even though their infantry has all run away, well, except for this unit, because they have artillery, they can still technically attack. They can still technically get in. So... We're going to end up... Okay, now you've started shooting again. 
I mean, yeah, all we can do is just let everybody attack fire at will or whatever they like. <laughs> Artillery, fire round shot because they're now well well in range. Fire at will. Keep this one firing quick lime because they can try and get the crew. Not with that sort of firing, they won't. Although, to be fair, you guys are probably better off trying to do this as well. Silly Marathas. They thought this was going to work. Excellent. All of my artillery. Tank ground near this 12 pounder unit. Once they break. They can't get in, and we win. <laughs> Very nice indeed. We lost 57 men, and we killed 1,000, nearly 1,300 of theirs. Very good. This is where it might not be quite so good. <laughs> okay, they're running straight for Calcutta. So the troops that we sent on our long on our big push forward, they need to fall back rapidly. You can keep raiding as much as you like. All of our territories are maxed out in recruiting as many people as they possibly can. Although, to be honest, those in those armies near our cock might be able to get to Calcutta before we can. Hmm. Could be a bit dicey. Right, come on, let's get stuck in. Killed enemy agent down to the south, which is great. Um, you just put Mysore under siege. Just, just start sieging them, because we may as well. Nation destroyed. Genoa. Okay, so we've got the Italian, the north of the Italian peninsula. Okay, you men replenish. Let's nick an infantry unit. Push it forward to Milan. Great. Let's recruit a light galley. It's a beefy fleet sailing to the Adriatic. These two ships join Maximino. You men take Marsha slot. Okay, enemy raid in Laquila. Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid. Don't really mind about any of that, really. Okay, we can get pretty close, but can we get close enough? We'll get a full garrison. And we'll get a lot, a lot of artillery. Okay, do we need to abandon the guns? Yes. Take as many as we can. Uh, well, we need to lose one unit of lancers. Gunners, get back. You men, get back. Okay, keep <laughs> recruiting. Do not stop and never stop. You're nearly at full strength. Then we'll start all over again. Military tech, shortened carbines. Excellent. Okay, 
Okay, you man. Let's not take. Okay, actually, let's do this the other way around. I should just take the infantry. We don't need any of the cavalry. Okay, they need another artillery piece and two howitzers, although that's going to take some time to get over here. Apparently. Okay, we've got another rake in Europe. Just land them off the coast. Off the Baltic coast. We've got another fleet arrives. I hope that's an army. Okay, let's get this agent down to Vienna. Let's see what's going on. Yes, a full army in India. What to do with it? We don't have another Medabad. We could maybe take a Madnagar. Oh, come on, it's juddering. Stop juddering. Oh, actually, one thing I do want to do before I start moving that ship. I could eke out a little bit more movement from these guys if I also abandon their artillery. Push them up to the artillery next to the fort. We'll push them up to the troops next to the fort. The artillery can catch up, but it means that I've got a full army in the city, plus a full army outside the city, who are ready. To the point at which, now, you are the more vulnerable elements. Let's take you guys out of the city, put you guys in. You need troops, not artillery, just troops. Lots of troops. You're nearly ready. One more turn. Agent detected. Okay, let's boost our construction. Because we're going to be growing. Oh, we're getting a lot more getting a lot more troops so we need to make sure that we've got the economy stood up support it nice looks like Austria is moving troops around in Italy but that's okay for now I think really we need to step forward now we can but we can beat up both these armies blow a hole towards brussels okay you those five infantry are yours let's get on with the artillery again and let's get engineers fusiliers Nice. Although we need to make sure we don't recruit all of our troops like this. We might be missing, make sure we're not missing out on any special units. But yeah, I think Armando de Soria, you're going to be backed up by Herberto Crespi. And we're going to push out. Although, okay, it's going to be a one on. We're going to, this army is going to destroy this force. The following army is going to destroy that force. This army is going to be able to push forward and attack Brussels. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for some uh, advances on the Austrian front line. Cheers, everyone.